Cho cho far no. My name is Reaper, and you are back in the house with Tunnel Gaming. So welcome to the channel. The gameplay you see in the background is me using the Amelie here on the map Riot. We're playing some free for all as usual, but I had to pull into the archive to find this gameplay. A bit of an older gameplay for everyone today, but hopefully you enjoy that in the background as it is actually apt towards today's commentary topic. I'm going to be taking you through. A best class setup for the Amelie, which variant to use and which attachments to run because this is a weapon of massive potential and if you use it correctly with the right attachments, it can be a very dangerous weapon. So without any further ado, far no, let's get into it. And we'll start off by going through everything we already know about the Amelie base variant. So what we know is, is that it's a 3-4 to four shot kill always, which is quite consistent. And I'm pretty sure that three shot kill is actually quite monstrous, somewhere around 35, 38 meters or something like that. And it also has very, very strong war penetration. That's just kind of by nature. The LMGs do come with big war penetration capabilities. Um, but it's also a very heavy weapon, so it handles poorly. You'll run quite slow with it, you'll notice this. And it has a rather wide hip fire spread, which can be quite bad in hairy situations. But as said before, it's a weapon with huge potential, and I rate it the best heavy weapon in the game. It beats the Pyre Tank only just because it has a faster fire rate, which means a faster time to kill. It also has easier iron sights. So that's why I prefer the Amelia over the Pyre Tank. But moving on to the actual variant I'm going to be talking about today, and that is the Amelia Heavy. It's an enlisted version, and believe me when I say this, this is not a matter of opinion, this is a matter of fact. The Amelia Heavy is the best Ameli variant in the game. So you probably heard it was the Subverter, I think you're wrong. Both the Heavy and the Subverter are three shots to kill at all ranges. That's kind of their big damage buff that they both get. But the Heavy doesn't come with the same severe nerf or penalty that the Subverter comes with. So with the Subverter, your standard mag is cut in half, which is absolutely huge. It also doesn't work that well for the attachment combination I'm going to run you over later. And the Heavy, of course, just stays with the regular 100 round magazine, drum, clip, whatever we want to call it. So you've got more bullets to toss downstream at your enemies, and that is always a good thing. With all that said, far no, we are now going to move on to the attachments. And the first attachment I want you to run is foregrip just for common sense reasons the second attachment i want you to run is quick draw grip now the amelie aims down sights quite slowly we're going to remedy that somewhat and we're going to get our three lethal shots off accurately as fast as possible so quick draw grip allows that now the third attachment fano and this is the money maker i want you to run Rapid fire. This is going to take the RPM from 666 to a flat 830. That is ginormous, and that's what makes this a melee heavy so so dangerous. Just one very important thing to remember about the rapid fire is that your hip fire is going to be worsened as well as your recoil. Now that's side to side recoil and vertical recoil, unfortunately. So you're going to have to be a little bit better when aiming down sights. So just those three attachments, far no. Run those and I promise you, you will have a good time. That brings me to the perks now. And for tier one, you can either use low profile or lightweight, depending if you wanna go passive or aggressive, I suppose. I don't even recommend tier two, but tier three, I always run a blast suppressor with either one of toughness or hardline. Keep in mind, toughness will help out a lot when engaging in those long range gunfights. And just lastly, Farno, I'm going to leave you with my top five tips when using this class, so pay attention. Tip number one is that the recoil seems to be inconsistent. Sometimes it kicks really, really hard, and sometimes it's actually quite smooth. So when she is kicking, try not to overcompensate. Tip number two is never to burst fire, okay, because the side-to-side -side recoil seems to be exaggerated in that first early part of firing, so keep that in mind. Tip number three is that the hip fire really really sucks okay it's real bad it's okay as a last resort but I wouldn't recommend heading into a gunfight with the primary objective of trying to hip fire kill somebody trust me on that one tip number four is practice with the iron sights because there's actually no room for optics and tip number five far no is engage everyone from everywhere on the map okay because if they've taken a bullet 
from someone else which is quite common in this game that's going to take one bullet off your bullets to kill make it the time to kill even quicker and that about brings me to the end of today's video so leave a comment down below let me know how you go with this class setup don't forget to tap that thumbs up button drop a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a subscription man because they're always appreciated that's it from me far no and hopefully I see you all in my next video. The Reaper is out.